Jose Protection Result Mercado E. Alonso Rialonda was born on June 19, 1861 in Calamba, Laguna. He was seventh of eleven children, born to a relatively well-off family in a Dominican-owned tenant land in Calamba. Jose lived and died during the Spanish colonial era in the Philippines. In his early childhood, Jose had mastered the alphabet, learned to write and read, and his early readings included the Spanish version of the Vulgate Bible. At a young age, he already showed inclinations to the arts. He amazed his family by his pencil drawings, sketches, and moldings of clay. Later in his life, he showed special talent in painting and sculpture, and he also wrote a Tagalog play which was presented in Town Festa and later penned a short play in Spanish which was presented in schools. Let us get to know Jose Rizal's family, childhood, and early education. Don Francisco Mercado was the father of Jose Rizal. He was born on May 11, 1818 in Binyan, Laguna. And of course, he was from a Chinese ancestry because he was the great-grandson of Domingo Lamco, a Chinese immigrant businessman who married a Chinese mestiza. He became a lieutenant governor or a tenente gobernador silio of Calamba, Laguna. Of course, Don Francisco was well-educated especially that he was educated at the College of San Jose in Manila and took up Latin and philosophy. While he was there, he met Doña Chodora and they were married on June 28, 1848 and settled in Calamba. To continue the discussion regarding Rizal's family, I will be talking about his mother, Doña Chodora. Doña Chodora was born on November 9, 1827 in Tondo, Manila. She was born to a financially able family during the Spanish colonial period. And like her mother before her, she was well-educated and highly cultured, having her former, formal education at the Colegio de Santa Rosa in Manila. She was only 20 years old when she married Rizal's father, Francisco Mercado, in June 28, 1848. Rizal's parents then settled in Calamba, Laguna, where they had 11 children. Like any typical parent, Rizal's mother was not any different. She was a disciplinarian, as well as dedicated, courteous, and hardworking mother. And as Rizal's first teacher, she had a very profound effect on his development and was his inspiration in taking up medicine. Now let's get to know the siblings of Jose Rizal. First in our list is Saturnina Rizal, who was the eldest of Don Francisco and Don Teodoro's children. She and her mother provided the little Jose with good basic education that by the age of three, Pepe, or Jose's nickname, already knew his alphabet. Next up is Pashano Rizal. Pashano is Jose's only brother who was born on March 7, 1851 in Calamba. He was fondly addressed by his siblings as Nior Pashano, short for Senor Pashano. The 10-year-older brother of Jose studied at San Jose College in Manila became a farmer and later a general of the Philippine Revolution. After Jose's execution in December 1896, Pashana joined the Katipuneros in Cavite under General Emilio Aguinaldo. As a Katipunero, Pashano was commissioned as general of the Revolutionary Forces and elected as Secretary of Finance in the Department of Government of Central Zone. Third is Narcisa or Cisa Rizal. She was the third child in the family. Later in history, Cisa would help in financing Rizal's studies in Europe, even pawning her jewelry and peddling her clothes if needed. It was said that she could recite from memory almost all of the poems of our national hero. Fourth is Olympia Rizal. Jose loved to tease her, sometimes good-humoredly describing her as his stout sister. Jose's first love, Segunda Katigbak, was Olympia's schoolmate at the La Concordia College. Rizal confided to Olympia about Segunda, and the sister willingly served as the mediator between the two teenage lovers. Fifth is Lucia Rizal. She married Mariano Herbosa of Calamba, Laguna charge of inciting the Calamba town's folk not to pay land rent and causing unrest, the couple was once ordered to be deported along with some Rizal family members. In Jose's article in La Solidaridad titled Una Profanación, he scornfully attacked the friars for declining to bury in sacred ground a good Christian simply because he was the brother-in-law of Rizal. Next is Maria Rizal, who was the sixth 
child in the family. It was to her whom Jose talked about wanting to marry Josephine Bracken when the majority of the Rizal family was apparently not amenable to the idea. In his letter dated December 12, 1891, Jose had also brought up to Maria his plan of establishing a Filipino colony in North British Borneo. Also called Concha by her siblings, Concepcion Rizal was the eighth child of the Rizal family. She died at the age of three. Of his sisters, it was said that the young Pepe loved most little Concha, who was a year younger than he. Jose played games and shared children's stories with her, and from her he felt the beauty of a sisterly love at a young age. Josefa Rizal's nickname is Pangoy. She was the ninth child in the family. She died a spinster. Among Jose's letter to Josefa, the one dated October 26, 1893, was perhaps the most fascinating. Written in English, the letter addressed Josefa as Miss Josephine Rizal. After Jose's martyrdom, the epileptic Josefa joined the Katipunin and was even supposed to have been elected the president of its women's section. She was one of the original 29 women admitted to the Katipunin along with Gregoria de Jesus, wife of Andres Bonifacio. They safeguarded the secret papers and documents of the society and danced and sang during sessions so that civil guards would think that the meetings were just harmless social gatherings. Next is Trinidad Rizal or Trinning. Historically, she became the custodian of Rizal's last and greatest poem. Right before Jose's execution, Trinning and their mother visited him in the Fort Santiago prison cell. As they were leaving, Jose handed over to Trinning an alcohol cooking stove, a gift from the Pardo de Taveras, whispering to her in a language which the guards, guards could not understand, there is something in it. That something was Rizal's elegy now known as Mi Ultimo Adios. Like Josefa, Pasiano, and two nieces, Trinidad joined the Katipunan after Jose's death. Also called Choling, Soledad Rizal was the youngest child of the Rizal family. Being a teacher, she was arguably the best educated among Jose's sisters. In his long and meaty letter to Choling, dated June 6, 1890, Jose told her sister that he was proud of her for becoming a teacher. He thus counseled her to become a model of virtues and good qualities, for the one who should teach should be better than the persons who need her learning.